looks funny. <laughs> I, I, it just looks funny, a little bit stretched, but it's okay. So, enslave, uh, assimilate, enslave six, Joskichel, uh, Joskichel's decks. Did we recently seen in action? Pipish played five hours ago, but uh, Joskichel just played. So. So this is the grand final. The rules are such as uh, Pifich can allow himself to lose one series. He gets uh, the second one, Joski Shell. If he loses, we'll have the tournament winner in Pifich. So Pifich goes for a win. Joski Shell will need two. Uh, let's enjoy the tournament. If you are watching on YouTube, drop through the like, drop the comment uh, uh, later on. So much appreciated love the support hope you are all enjoying the competitive tournaments that i've been showing on my channel but also whatever is getting casted organized by metal cast by lemon salty the team is great it's been a pleasure this one is organized by mitrafan nick gothic so different production but uh, also a great tournament we are having so let's go, we see the bands, no Araha Swarm for Joski Chell and no Alumni for Pifich, sadly. I said that we might be witnessing it, but it was banned. So no answer to Muta Generator in uh, in Sleeve. You cannot really run even Yennefer's Invocation. Moreover, you cannot allow yourself to fit uh, a Heat Wave there without running 26 cards, I suppose. Uh, Joski goes for uh, Squirtle Runestone finds two non-units, uh, which is not ideal if you try to mutagenerate. Finds the Guardian. Guardian is a uh, 5p card, if I'm not mistaken. We also see Whale on uh, <coughs> a Rune Mage, so that the Spine cannot go there. That's where... Uh, Yenvo would have been a nice card. Gankian is set up for amnesty potential, so the order should be used, otherwise it's uh, problematic. We also see Mutagenia. We see Iris getting discarded. We see Mutagenerator, Rune Mage to expand the temple options, and only now the temple comes. Uh, Baron should be all right against the simulate. Uh, you cannot usually stop all of it. Uh, Kimbolt should be okay. We will be shown the options uh, a bit uh, later. Now, Baron is what a 10 p card, right? So, there is a problem. Of it getting marked, but Queen Meef and Kimbolt are the other options. Okay. And we actually see Joski Chell clicking here and continuing to mute generate till the end of the round. Potentially gets uh, to click his uh, or play his Red of it. But I don't believe we are seeing, uh, yeah, push uh, two down with Erland as uh, Radovic uh, is getting clicked. So Joski Chell is going all in here on Muta. Not an insane value from you to generator considering the runestone mist, but a decent top deck finds a neutral card. You are <clears throat> quite often struggling with it. 
Get in neutral is uh, sort of hard. If it's um, well, after Calvit, you are finding everything. It's kind of bad, <laughs> if I'm completely honest, to have to play the Mage Torturer like this. Not gonna lie, that could have been better. Okay, Nora there so far. Don't think Squirrel has uh, any influence on the match. And Pithich is not a believer in False City. The Cursed Knight is the reason. Transforming it uh, would be devastating. Joskichel has uh, an ability to mulligan the cards he doesn't need. With the leader, two leader charges left. So yeah, he keeps the Cursed Knight. It's also potentially helping with... Uh, A spied on unit. There is the downside of uh, picking an order unit with damage. It can uh, backfire quite easily, as we can see here. It just gets uh, picked up from the graveyard and now can be combined with the coup, for example. <coughs> Those of you joining from my on stream, if you haven't, if you joined while raiding and you didn't see the tournament, then yeah, this is the grand final of uh, BAM Cup organized by Mitrafan, 1000 euros prize pool, and uh, those two will be number one and number two of the tournament, depending on the results. Uh, Pifich needs to win once, Joskichel needs to win twice as in one or two best of five series. Given Neil's got an engine to copy might be less than ideal. There is Bratton still doing a similar job uh hey your first time chatter actually using the first time time ch i think this is the first time i witness in this combo ng usually it's just pure the chat regular spamming it but uh nice to see ya um, so assimilate is getting locked, another assimilate is probably getting dueled. Shub can uh, lock uh, one more. Yeah, it <laughs> makes sense, but somehow I didn't add it uh, that long ago. <coughs> but that's literally what it's made for. So yeah, look at them, uh, Redania Knight. Uh, it's just uh, three of them doing an honest job. That's why Pifich also didn't uh, trigger the armor on the night. <sighs> Thanks for the follow. Fantastic tournament for both players. They were not among the favorites. Uh, uh, Pifich is uh, regular in top spots on the ladder. He even qualified for Open when, well, after he qualified, uh, Russian and Belarusian players got uh, disqualified. But he is playing Alumni in his lineup. So that's definitely not uh, a deck anyone expects to win easily. I agree with that, Master Hexes. But uh, turns out for the grand final he got the alumni deck banned. So in the correct matchups it does find uh, 
the firepower and well if you are not answering the students you are in a lot of trouble and so the profiles But yeah, the triple engine working, uh, Broughton sees an engine as well. There is an uh, answer to Kimball, so that was uh, will be probably used only once. Baron resets one of the engines, but this is a 30 point gap and what you are doing, resetting, not killing. Unless done on the last turn is not that efficient. Also, okay, let's see what Kimball does, if anything at all, because uh, there are no ordered units on the board. This might be an easy task for uh, Wilgefort's. Uh, Stefan, although you'd want to simulate units on board for that. So yeah. Instead of Russian, we see the Terranova into Queen Meep. <laughs> Another thing Joski kinda needs to answer now. So Shroop goes into the lock. Or is there an assimilate unit to kill with 4 damage? No. So instead of locking uh, our thought, he has to, to lock me. Also, we get me just bounced. So. She will insist on gaining value. To victory. And this is a simulate uh, going for 100 points. We do see that units only buffed once uh, mostly for Joski. Which will be doubled with... Uh, Erland, and there are some extra buffs on a few bronzes, but that's not uh, humongous. Uh, Erland. What's Meeps deploy again? Um, well, she lowers her cooldown on uh, what the amount uh, the card is buffed. Uh, I'll open because we have no observer. Well, right here. So she reduces the timer for each uh, unit with uh, inspired ability. So the second myth could have gone next to the first one. Don't think it matters much as uh, the cooldown. Oh, you cannot trigger cooldown twice. So yeah, there is some extra Kimbolt value. It uh, went unpunished. And the point gap is narrowing down, considering the Erland will be clicked for 20 points or so. There goes uh, what assimilate proking though. And then the myth, and then there is another myth. So, 25 point Erland as predicted, more or less, and, and that's a forfeit, uh, not really close, given three pitch triple engine didn't sound like uh, a great idea there, but uh, even then, there are just too many engines to answer, even with final, with the rules, uh, since Pipitch is coming from the upper bracket, he can lose once. 
uh, once as in series, uh, Joski Chel has to win two times. Pifich will suffice for him to win once. We actually seen stockpile to lose, which is uh, quite unusual. Okay, Pfitch uh, found one Warlord and also finds Blood Eagle now. Blood Eagle, of course, is risking to get squirreled. But it's, it's a buff for all your raids. And you can never say no to that. So graveyard developed. A couple of 4P warriors, a couple of warlords. Uh, raids are buffed, but no reason for Pifich to to give up on a round here. Uh, Joski didn't commit anything, played uh, the pirate offensively, so yeah. Was expecting a pass. And now Pifich has to do something about all the self wound. A hand is uh, not bad with uh, with Blood Eagle eliminated from the game, having tear, having solve in hand already, should be good. Finds uh, Freya's blessing to play another warlord. And Joski miss, misses the Knut here. So surely hands could be improved on both sides. Don't really see how useful is, uh, for example, the Butcher for Pifich here. But yeah, we see the hits are buffed, so takes a value on the ship immediately from the primal savagery Joski is setting up set up the location setting up the graveyard as well nothing warriors can do about uh, Stigvaldo for example but yeah that's what I mean Pifich will need to do something about all the Cell wound units and uh, we go him go to six cards already developing his own location can warriors uh, do anything about Sigvold? of course there is the champion's charge will cost you a full leader but you can eliminate that by the end of the round there is still a murderer Number two from Joski Chell shouldn't shouldn't really go all in in the first three round uh, three turns, especially with having Draco Turtle. Yeah, we're actually seeing Soph without without leader charges at all. Uh, Pifich just jumped to Joski Chill's webcam position. Unlucky, but uh, Joski's uh, webcam has been, so don't pay too much attention to that. The most important thing is the connection, so. Have you got a chance to watch any of the games yesterday, Andy? I would assume that uh, you didn't really watch today. Man, that, this must be annoying as a player. If you if you need to reconnect to Discord, it doesn't uh, do the job automatically. That takes uh, from the focus, but... Uh, that was one of the requirements for the tournament, basically, to have the webcam on, at least, well, 
Sinchen ended up doing it without the webcam, for example, but uh, that's a lot of extra work. Only Elias. I see. Didn't catch those. Uh, did he play Nilfgaard at all? Or did it get banned? But yeah, we, we had some influence from Lerio apparently on deck choices of Kukuruzina. Played it once, okay. But uh, okay. it's seen some action. That was my idea. Ah, okay. So I think Lerio mentioned it. Mentioned it. But might have been with an addition of emote in the end so i wasn't aware but uh, i'm kind of proud i think i showed you the imagawa's deck choices and it spreads the good ideas spread quite fast well i'm i'm not taking the full credit you've probably seen him i know anyway yeah, it's your idea, Imagava's idea, Mayamon was playing that as well, so that's uh, kind of fun how this works. So as we see, Joski didn't go double mudroom on Sigvolt immediately. <laughs> Just not provoked. We also see Pifich, uh, yeah, play uh, Soap with the location click instead of Leader, because, well, Leader is necessary to set up Bloodthirst 3 for Champion's Charge, most likely in the round 3. Not here. No, stop. Goes Pifich. I tried my best to bleed here, but nothing really worked uh, too well. Ну что ж, it's enough. Joski gets uh, something out of his graveyard. Mm, keeps wall blood totem. Finds Knut as well. Okay, both players are drawing stuff. We don't see Sylvifus right. But uh, there goes the Oniromancy, so that represents whatever you missed. Mardrom. Siegwald Knut or oh, Draka Turtle Martyrum Knut uh, is a go, but you need to be aware that things are happening with Champions Charge, so don't go all in. No last save for Joski here. Why? How, how do you time it like this? Bought two messages simultaneously. What the hell? Okay, so goes for Draco Turtle instead of Sigvaldo here. And that should be the champion's charge immediately then. Okay. So no Sigvold, no Draka Turtle, and also Olgert is gone, which means that Knut is just uh, just a cute warrior. 
potentially hitting some cultists. But that's uh, the scope of its actions. There is a couple of Rezes available, so you kind of would want to clash with uh, with Tyr. But there is nobody for that for Joski. He can place uh, Swole Blood. Clear the blood thirst, although not sure how much does it matter here. And clash. But you just don't have enough points for her. Uh, for winning the, uh, the game. Hello? Uh, yeah, goes for that. Uh, goes for the clash. But his entire board will be one bear abominations. That doesn't look like enough to me. Especially since Peefitch will have bear abominations of his own. Don't think there is any reason to reactivate Knut. You have taught him to do and leader ability, more importantly, to do the Knut's job. So that's uh, two O lead for Peefish here by the looks of it, and he'll have only one deck. To win with and that deck's gonna be precision everyone's favorite precision strike non-devotion rent free let's go hope you are excited for three games of precision strike now guys totally being serious Attack! match point number one tournament point yeah this is not even match point this is tournament point number one for pfitch he wins any of the next three games. He is the champion of Bump Cup. He loses. There will be a final replay. So what's your best suggestion, guys? How to balance rent free, especially rent free precision strike? How would you go about it? Because elements of the deck are quite reasonably balanced. But all that together makes for questionable ladder experience as uh, everyone can learn how to play it pretty fast. And that's probably not the deck we want to see dominating for much longer. Ah, wait, so the bands were, sorry, AQ was banned, not an R, my bad, yeah, I misspoke, we will not see AQ Araha Swarm from Joski Chell, that's incorrect. He is playing Erland, that's, uh, we also seen Erland in action before, so... Just got a reverse sweep precision strike and then play against it once more as uh, Joski Shell needs to win uh, three games here and then another series against Pfitch. Sounds like an easy job. Especially if you are only going against P strike. Um so What's Pfitch's lines against? Oh, 
<laughs> Dude, what are you doing? What is this chameleon? Just snipe the chameleon though. Or yeah, just answer it. Not really. A sight of a happy pea fish there. Uh, Kimball probably doesn't survive. So Philip uh, can snipe an odd unit there. We've seen Joski ignoring Hansel for the most part. This can be shiny. And let's see, we should be shown the cards by Huramalka. In a moment now, Kimball, uh, War Elephant and Queen Meath. Queen Meath uh, is having a nice turn, or nice top 4 tournament stage, uh, as she's getting picked left and right here. A decent temple option that you probably don't want to play from hand. He's always unhappy. Well, he was uh, rooting for him, or hyping himself up occasionally so Roski ready to go down a card if necessary but yeah this is precision strike from red with uh, a couple of, oh wait, not a couple, uh, a thinner. Combo against the Erland that is not really known for winning round one. Easily, but never stop, never stopping guys, just continue slamming the cards. So, Joski can still do that with Shoop leader charges and also has the order doesn't click it here which he could have but doesn't matter rather it is uh, Going down and 25 point and says plus 2, 27, 21. With leader charges should be close to doable. 27, 28 plus 12 is 40 points. Uh, certainly, yeah, should have it. But that's both cards gone. And if uh, quick maths were correct, you cannot even play Shoop for resilience. I'm not sure how good it is anyway. Okay, we are witnessing Shoop first. Maybe it was enough where I didn't count leader charges properly. Yeah, so it goes for the resilience. And he easily closes the gap with unsafe. Pifich also knows that the last card is the buffed one. It can be sent back, but uh, it won't. And I don't think the unsafe is closing the gap anymore. So Joski loses, but loses with Kiri over. Also gets uh, Zoltan uh, Eudora out of Pifich. So that didn't come cheaply. <laughs> Pifich is just mad at his game client. No, why you give me bricks? Give good cards. How hard is that? <laughs> uh. 
a little bit of speed run here don't uh, don't you mind <laughs> i see i will uh uh, so yeah, the Poland versus UK in World Cup decider for a place in semi-finals uh, is up on YouTube. I mean, you have to win two rounds in Gwent. If you already lost one, why even bother? Your opponent is so much closer to winning two. It's uh, the gap that you most likely cannot really close. Joski Chell is vibing there. Uh, we also transitioned to the game for number four, uh, number four quite fast. So let's reset. This is a uh, P strike from blue coin, not uh, the preferred position. We <laughs> we see that uh, P Fitch uh, has to scroll for. Companions, but uh, Iris's companions uh, are bringing him something important, something like Renfrey into the hand. So instead of just sc scrolling for Renfrey, guys, take a moment while playing your games before forfeiting thing, and yeah, maybe queuing uh, sequencing cards can be improved. So, I'm wondering if Pfitch is playing in the mindset of, okay, I maybe lost this game as I'm playing P Strike on uh, blue and cannot uh, coin abuse. Or is he in a mindset of actually trying to win it here? By the position, it might be like, okay, I'll play it, I'll play it out, will be mindset, but maybe I'm just misreading, maybe that's the full concentration. Joski Chell finds Sesame, didn't really have any coins. Uh, how dare you roll good cards? Is Pivich's reaction? Okay. So, uh, thinning done, but uh, thinning carry over is uh, is denied here. Joski takes a pass, but Pete Strike is winning a card down, which is obviously <laughs> thing that's supposed to happen when you are on blue coin if your opponent is not pushing you. Does it have enough for two rounds? If uh, if Acherontia is closing the gap to force Acherontia out, you probably need to play a shit ton of resources. Which is, well, not ideal. Uh, that's a bank full of uh, I don't know, full of bronzes, full of shit. I would assume that Novigrad we don't see, but Novigrad is not in hand, so yeah, Novigrad was uh, missed. Bank shuffles the deck, but you are not going for the eavesdrop here. Yeah, you are. Okay. So clearly goes away. Instead we have double Salamandra Mage. No flying Rudanian. Line out as that was banished by Cyprian Wiley. Uh, you should have seen his streams full tilt if you haven't. Cutest 
streamer ever. He only had like five, six streams in total, I think. Yeah, I think this matchup should be fine, and that's maybe why Pfitch was never happy in this game. The problem is, uh, like, sure, you are putting out uh, points here. But if a Kerontia is, uh, like, if one of the spenders stays on the board and the Kerontia is dropped and closes the gap, you basically spend most of your resources trying to push it out. I know the when in doubt, push it out is the Gwent motto, but at the same time... Only so much pushing you can do. Um... Is Junior necessary for anything else? I don't think so. There is no Oak, so... Killing everything is not required. I I completed Bang. I know that we were not shown the Rand Free abilities, or at least not uh, instantly after the Rand Free was played, but did they highlight the leader ability afterwards? I don't have control of the video footage, so... I guess that was play a bronze. No, not play a bronze. What was it? Anyway, if you if you see the leader ability, let me know. We see the sesame is at five and six counter. You really want a spender down by now, non-candle non spender, but uh, I guess you have to... Salamage, no? Yes, should be Salamage. How are things? So, the spender actually, yeah, landed, but you don't have to, as you have Salamandra Mage uh, giving you extra coins, you have uh, four leader charges, so you are getting them eight, nine points, unless there is a passive as well, then, as I said, didn't see the leader ability highlighted, so I'm not sure. By the looks of it, no, pa uh, no passive from Renfrey. You are probably aiming at uh, Controlly to rent free ability. Ah, yeah, Oak is there. What am I on about? It was the previous game. Pfitch forfeited so fast that, uh, yeah, I assumed that Oak was played out, but Oak is there, as is Zoltan. Uh, deck has tint. Uh, same. Uh, Sadly, we cannot highlight it, and when shown, I either bl blanked out or it wasn't uh, visible. I guess it might have to do with the uh, opponent's unit then. I'm eagerly awaiting to see that.
Clap, clap. Okay, chat, clap with Tifich. Join on the clap in action. Uh, yeah, I'll clap with ya. PM upon <laughs> Good fucking play. <laughs> uh, webcams add some some dimension. Yeah, no. <laughs> I cannot be an opponent, but yeah, people will do that for me, my amon. Uh, metal should add webcams. They have. Well, they have players, they have a person running the footage, and then they have an admin as well. So there is a team of uh, five players at the very least, plus graphic designer and all that running the tournament. We are trying to do it with a slightly smaller uh, team. Pifich is just clapping. Uh, for Joski Chell, for a quality spender acquisition. Two spender sadder. Wait. A little bit of rage now. Wait, is there? Is there no more spender on the board? So finally the question is, uh, the suspense is uh, gone? You cannot send uh, save the spender, yeah. It's dying either way. GG. Not your lucky day, and for PH to win means to end the tournament. We'll wait for confirmation, but uh, should be the case. So there are the prize money and uh, we should be back soon. But by the looks of it, uh, yeah, Pfitch takes it because Pfitch was uh, playing from the winner's bracket side. Uh, a person there has to win only once in the final. So Josk Chell gets uh, two losses in the tournament and gets eliminated. Uh, congrats to Pifich on winning that 60k rubles, which translates to what 600 euros more.